Everybody mess up, everybody make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people that, that would have took this opportunity to get some money, but you got to think logically, man. If you want to be free, think about the long run. Do your research. Find a way to do this without getting caught. You know what I'm saying? Legitimize yourself some type of way so you can legally have this money without any issues. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself in a predicament just so you can be the man or be the woman at the time because it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all tell me what y'all feel about the whole What's up with YouTube fam? And I'm making you another video. Man, this is uh, Baby Blue. I think this is his name from Pretty Ricky. He got caught doing a little old scam or whatever. So we're going to watch this. I'm going to tell you what I feel about it during the video and after the video. So if you don't want to hear me talking, just find it somewhere else. Let's go ahead and see what happened. A local reality star and rapper hitting a low note tonight. He's facing federal charges accused of pocketing millions of dollars in COVID relief funds meant to help struggling small businesses. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juwan Strader. Good evening. I'm Jackie Nesprow. The feds say he used some of the money to, among other things, buy a Ferrari. NBC6 reporter <laughs> Jamie Gorilla is live in Miramar tonight with the details. Jamie. Yeah, the FBI was part of this national investigation that had a reach well beyond a South Florida rapper. The accusation fraudulently claiming coronavirus relief funds living a life while small businesses meant to get that same money struggled to stay afloat. A meeting sounds very business-like. Diamond Blue Smith, who lives in Miramar and is a cast member on Love & Hip Hop on VH1, is in trouble with the feds tonight. Smith and a Pennsylvania man charged for their role in a $24 million COVID relief fraud scheme. The government alleges Smith... Bro, <clears throat> man, these people done got caught stealing $24 million. Do you know how crazy you got to be to accept that type of money? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you messing with Fed bread for real. That's why the Fed's on. Look what, you, look what you doing, bro. I think... The way that the government set this up is to catch people because they know people are going to be gullible. All this type of money is out in the atmosphere and people not going to jump on this shit. You crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be fools like this that's going to get the bread. I mean, be involved with it or anything. You know what I'm saying? You got to know that's an automatic trigger for the police, man. All this type of man, millions of dollars, bro. You think you're just going to be having this shit and not have to worry about nothing? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I don't get it. Shit, if you're around a nigga who doing it, why, why would you even take the risk you know what i'm saying hey bro hey bro this is gonna get us in trouble bro i can already tell you no point even let's just find something else to do you know what i'm saying or let's accept the bare minimum that you can accept before the police get involved you know what i'm saying we well, can get involved with anything you know what i'm saying but you y'all get what i mean before it get to that level because i know people that that's taking a hundred fifty thousand dollars two hundred thousand you know what I'm saying? I can't be associated with it because I already know the damn files of, of this type of stuff right here. Because look what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You you taking you messing with the government and everybody know don't play with the government, bro. You know what I'm saying? But well, I don't know the people personally. Let me let me fix that. I know of people. You know what I'm saying? I can't be associated with people who do this type of things. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, it's crazy that a person would really sit there and accept twenty four million dollars from the government. And you already done seen people go to jail for this. I just don't get it, bro. Seen here on Instagram in the driver's seat of a Ferrari, allegedly obtained money for a Ferrari by falsifying documents to get a PPP loan worth nearly $427,000. Smith mm. allegedly did the same for another loan worth nearly $1 million. Mm. You might remember the PPP loan program was part of the $2 trillion CARES Act. PPP was meant for qualifying small businesses to receive money in emergency and forgivable loans due to impacts from the pandemic. Congress later found more than $1 billion in relief aid was fraudulently obtained. So look, you know what I'm saying? Okay, he didn't personally take $24 million, but everybody associated, it, it totaled to $24 million. Why would you do this? I don't understand it. Like, $24 four million he shit even 1.4 million three million whatever he took you know what i'm saying it was still dumb it was re really retarded i'd say now if i was a, a a social media star or something like that i'd take a hundred i ain't gonna lie shit a hundred and i know i got the bread to back it up to pay this back you know what i'm saying i can just use this to invest i would but like going to the millions and all this man you're just doing too much then you got a ferrari so i mean you already got enough eyes on you better believe it's people watching you you know what i'm saying I just don't understand why people uh, sit there and be this greedy. You know, you got to think about everything before you get into it because you end up like this. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody mess up, everybody make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people that, that would have took this opportunity to get some money, but you got to think logically, man. If you want to be free, think about the long run. Do your research. Find a way to do this without getting caught. You know what I'm saying? 
legitimize yourself some type of way so you can legally have this money without any issues. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself in a predicament just so you can be the man or be the woman at the time because it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what I feel about the whole situation, man. I feel like this is the craziest thing you can do. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? If you need a loan, take the loan, but don't be outrageous with it. Don't do too much. And then chill when you do get it. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't do too much. Just accept the bread, flip it, and do this shit silently because all you're doing is drawing more eyes to yourself, man. And what do eyes bring? The eyes bring the police, you know what I'm saying? Then you're going to jail. Or Uncle Sam gonna come get everything and embarrass you. So which one would you rather do? Just chill, find you another scheme, do your research on the scheme that you're doing, do, you, do your full due diligence on anything before you do it, or you just want to be a, a dumb dumb, a straight crash dummy, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, y'all like, subscribe, if you like my commentary. If you don't, I really ain't tripping, man. I'll holler at y'all another video, all right?